Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Alishad Mal here and welcome to my little man cave and this exciting episode that you have been waiting for. I'm sure you have watched my social media post and you have been waiting for this video. In this video, you're watching the Hubson Xeno Pro Plus and Xeno 2 Plus, their new flagship aerial filming drones. And in this video, I'm going to stay with Xeno 2 Plus because this is the complete video review of Xeno 2 Plus. Now, I really do not know what I have missed all these years but it seems that Hubson has been working really hard and they have developed some really serious tech for their aerial filming drones. Now given the impressive specs that you can watch on the product pages on Hubson.com, links are in video description. When I read the specifications of Xeno 2 Plus, I was like, mm, yes, well anyone can write serious specifications, but is the quadcopter or aerial filming drone itself going to actually stand for those impressive specs. Well, I have been testing for the past week, I have been flying and testing both Xeno Pro Plus and Xeno 2 Plus and I have to say, seriously and honestly, I am impressed by their flight performance, by their camera performance, aerial filming, image quality and video quality. In this video, we are talking about Xeno 2 Plus. Let's see what comes inside the box. Let's bring the camera closer to Xeno 2 Plus and let me give you a closer look at the radio control, at the quadcopter and take a look at the app as well. Alright, let's take a closer look at the Hubson Xeno 2 Plus. First off, the quadcopter itself. This is how it's in folding version. Okay, once you unfold, it opens up to a very good size but it's still very compact to carry around. Now I've been using the stock propeller and everything is stock that actually came with Hubson Xeno 2 Plus. So this is the side view and this is the back view right here left side where you can also see a little bit of cover with a compartment inside okay where you can put your TF card and there's a USB port here and also a button for binding the quadcopter to your uh, radio control. On the bottom of the quadcopter you have your battery button where you can turn the quadcopter on and off turning by turning the smart battery on and off. You have optical flow sensors for very very solid position hold even indoors. Stabilized gimbal is protected with this cover okay and once you take it off you can take a closer look 
at the gimbal right here and what I love about this right here is not just that it is very very properly vibration damped I can see uh, uh, down here and up it is very properly vibration damped does not move or shake a lot I have pushed the quadcopter to its maximum speeds on very windy days and I have never had any kind of jello or shaking uh, recorded on on the aerial videos so this gimbal definitely is very stable and does an absolutely amazing job now what I really love about this gimbal is that this is replaceable this is what happens when you crash quadcopters uh, aero filming quadcopters like this most of the time you break the gimbals or you know scratch the camera lens and stuff like that mostly you break the gimbal and you are stuck with sending the quadcopter back for replacement or repair but here case is different if you somehow break your gimbal or have an issue with it you can simply replace the whole gimbal buy a new one install it simply and easily and get back to your aerial filming adventures so this is really one very nice feature look at the bottom of the quadcopter LED lights on all four arms and they are very very visible as well one more thing that I realized was very very nice about the Hubson Zeno 2 plus that once when I was about to fly the quadcopter it gave me the app gave me a warning that the battery wasn't strapped pro properly and when I checked one of these uh, battery clips were not actually locked so I just pushed the battery in and one of them were not properly locked and Hubson app gave me a clear straight warning I went ahead I pushed the battery in and double checked that these clips are locked and the battery is locked and the warning disappeared and I flew it one more thing which I'm gonna talk about in the app is the safety uh, feature warnings or uh, reminders that are in the app we'll talk about those as well later so this is the quadcopter right here now talk about the radio the sticks have very nice and solid feel and they offer very very precise control As you will watch in flight testing videos when I will bring you out you will see what I'm talking about and why I love the precise control using these sticks you have auto return to home switch on off switch and flight mode a speed switch where you can switch uh, your quadcopter from filming mode to normal mode to sports mode in filming mode it become absolutely nice and slow no matter how much input you give the quadcopter will move very very slow and give you ultimate steady cinematic shots on top here you have antennas and video button snapshot button gimbal pitch control and function button at the back there isn't much just some holes for the cooling of the electronics at the right side you have a USB port that you will use to charge the battery internal built-in battery and also connect your phone now this is another thing that I really really like I have tried many other drones and what the actual problem that I have when it comes to add your phone this is where I really appreciate that Hubson has one of the best designs for the phone holders why because my phone I mean most of the people I mean most of the companies when they design their quadcopters and radios and the phone holders they really do not actually consider different types of phones and different types of on off switches which are always on the side and also volume switches now pressing some of these together combination can keep on doing snapshots of screens or a screen recording and or turn on off the thing that I like about Hubson phone holder is that once you put your phone down here just pull it down and push it up it's super easy to hold the phone and it actually holds the phone very well another thing is no matter what it never pushes the on off button of my phone even if I'm moving left and right it will never push any buttons and phone is nice rock solid right here in the holder also notice one more thing is that the radio sticks are removable and you can store them right here and this little plastic part if I bring it closer so you can see this little plastic part here is nice and soft and also anti-slip and this is where it holds your phone without pressing or without disturbing your on off buttons on the phone so both of the sticks can be easily added right here 
just like this you can see both of the sticks are there and when you're going to fly it's really very easy to get the sticks out okay let me switch my hand so I don't block the view and then simply screw them on just like this and you're ready once again adding the phone is simply a breeze before I move on and show you the app I say I simply like it because it is really very simple to use radio there aren't many more controls to bother with everything is nice and simple everything that you really really need to fly control and perform all your aerial filming tasks is right here on the radio not to mention the central screen right here actually shows you all the flight data telemetry during flight so why not we turn the quadcopter on and I can show you uh, the telemetry screen on the radio control and also the app so here goes the supplied USB cable antennas up radio on quadcopter on gimbal is initializing now I realize that it takes a little while to get connected and get started or initializing the whole system so it's, it's actually good because you can take your time to set things up and watch my face so you can unlock all right already X Hubson 2.0 app is here and once the radio will be connected you can see the end enter the device turns green with Xeno 2 plus selected so here we go once you click that you have how to pair device notice for a safety flight and enter the main interface so this is what I wanted to talk about because Hubson app basically focuses on safety a whole lot and also gives you a lot of safety reminders a lot of pre-flight check reminders which are not annoying but very very good so right here we have the video from the quadcopter as you can see my hand right here moving right now there's no GPS obviously it will say that so first off let me focus on this on the radio so you can see the flight data telemetry is very very clear and even on a very sunny bright day I was able to see everything very very clearly you can see the checks are here so you can see everything normal before flying or not if not you can do the compass calibration and the stuff like that okay let's say there is a red thingy that says no no SD card inside so you see this this is what shows everything after checking uh, pre-flight checking automatically on the quadcopter and once everything is normal you can start flying just click here and back to the app now for the app I will just record a screen so you can see all the features very very quickly in the app top bar you can see GPS strength your quadcopter and motors arming your flight modes your signal strengths for control and video signals number of satellites and battery levels and on the top right that little icon is your settings icon clicking on that little uh, quadcopter icon will bring up the automated flight modes where you can activate all these uh, coolest features and automated flight modes and let the quadcopter do the job for you for stunning aerial filming shots on the bottom left this little window you can activate the map get it to full screen or get back to full screen live video from your quadcopter using this you can control the pitch of the gimbal or you can use the slider on the radio to control the pitch of your gimbal using this button you can switch from photo mode to video mode or video to photo mode you can also switch photo or a video mode using the video and still photography buttons on your radio control next this is the settings button for your photo and video using this you can activate the parameters that you can set for your video or your photos you can switch video resolution you can switch frame rate and all the other parameter regarding your video or photo 
There are a lot of parameters here that you can easily and very, very quickly set even during the flight. You also have manual settings. Should you want to manually control the camera parameter, you can do it right here from this settings menu. One of the features here that you will like is the grid lines. If you activate the grid lines, you can frame your shots even better. Then using this button, you can activate headless mode or switch back to the normal mode. Now, should you need headless mode in your quadcopter, you can always activate it just by one click. Top right button will activate the settings in the app for your drone. This is a very, very big menu. Lots of lots of options and parameters to set. And I would like to explain everything in detail in my upcoming videos. We will cover the whole menu system and all the parameters in details in my upcoming videos. Now one of the features of the aircraft location, that's what I really, really like. Uh, it's what somehow, for example, you pushed your quadcopter too much, battery really went down and quadcopter landed itself. In, in this unfortunate situation, if somehow your aircraft landed somewhere and you don't know where it landed, you can basically click here and say looking for aircraft. And it will show you where your aircraft is. Not only that, but it will also give you a navigation right there how to reach to that point where your aircraft was last seen and you can easily go and start searching for your aircraft. Very, very nice feature. I simply love it. One more thing, obviously, you can go to the settings right here for the, for the user settings, and you have a flight log that you can have all your flight logs. You can see everything, what you have been doing, where you have been flying, and how you have been flying. So if anything goes wrong, if you have some issues, you're talking to Hubson support, they will ask you for flight logs, and you can easily feedback or uh, upload these flight logs to the Hubson servers and they will be able to watch the flight logs and help you. My bobber is ready, I'm ready to ride, a Xeno 2 Plus is ready, batteries are fully charged. Let's head outdoors and have some fun with Hubson Xeno 2 Plus. All right, welcome outdoors for Hubson Xeno 2 Plus flight testing. Batteries are fully charged, my phone is ready, app is downloaded. Now, as I mentioned, anyone can write all those specs, I mean impressive specs. It is time to put those specs to a flight test. Okay, it's pretty windy today and it might get more windy but let's check the altitude and position hold nice and solid wind is coming from there pushing it as you can see it will tilt a bit right but overall it's holding very well Let's bother it a little. Okay, lost altitude a bit, but got back up. Had a little bit of oscillation there because optical flow probably got confused having a shadow there. You should know optical flow works very well on pattern surfaces with shadows and stuff. They always get confused, but overall, as you can see, I'm rotating. And it's actually pretty good. As soon as I leave, it actually holds its position really nice. Awesome. So let me fly it around and see how it feels like. Oh man, I like the yaw control on this. It's very, very precise. You know, I don't like to use automated features which do panorama, orbiting, point of interest. I like to do these myself, you know, manually by controlling the sticks. And some of the drones from different suppliers or different brands actually do not offer very good yaw control. It's either, either too much yaw or too little yaw. But this one, I feel absolutely very comfortable and I can actually keep the camera always on me no matter where I go 
so the yaw control i'm loving it man that is nice thank you very much hubson for improving that huh look at that man that is some nice flight performance here and click very slow now that is like filming mode oh i love it man look at that this is going to give you absolutely let me see yeah absolutely beautiful shots like if you want to do dolly kind of tripod feel for instance a shot like this where you want the quad to move left or right as a dolly side shot look at that how nice and slow it's moving so that was filming mode and you can see how nice and slow it's flying i like it i got the shot you saw the shot as well and now let me switch to normal mode and this is the speed in normal mode i think xeno 2 plus can pick up speeds up to 70 km an hour that is that and I believe this is the sports mode I do see some difference in the speed yes so maximum is 70 km an hour which is you know more than enough for you to go places I love the way you can switch the flight modes very very quick okay let me get a shot of my bobber okay hold the position please slightly higher so i'm just gonna activate this search parking apron it's a better feature okay when the aircraft returns home above the home point the gimbal will automatically search down and identify the drone apron let's go a little more farther okay and activate auto return to home so it's rising let's see now if the camera will actually search for the apron or not so it comes back come on turning the head very windy day man winds are increasing winds are definitely increasing comes over my head okay now it's looking at it and okay whoa right there right there right there it found the apron it is tracking the apron that landing pad it is tracking it very very nice yes you can see that it is actually tracking and <laughs> wind is disturbing it all right <laughs> not exactly on that but it actually landed just next to it what about we give it another color okay so i'm just gonna test it once again here's the apron this time i'll take off from here so it will come back here always okay going farther just there return to home remind you that the apron or landing pad searching feature is activated it's coming back right overhead now let me see turning its head around I still have 31 person battery now it's landing battery is low it's looking for helipad it found the helipad yes it found as you can see I hope you can see it found the helipad it's going forward now there isn't much wind it's precisely positioning itself over I like this feature though the first time it didn't work but now it's doing very well locked on locked on locked on apron the landing pad 
Okay, and right there. Come on, come on, it's right there. <laughs> you can do it this time. I gave you a different color. A little bit, wind came, pushed it away. Ah, oh, come on. It is still impressive that it actually searches it and starts landing. What I found, what I found that once it's here at this altitude, it will move the camera forward and start coming down for landing. That is, it has confirmed the landing and that's where if there's a wind or deviation, it won't be able to land on the apron or landing pad. All right, so I'm done with one battery and a lot of features tested. Okay, one of the features that people really, really want badly is the auto follow me feature. And this one has an active track. I just tried it, it works very well. Let's try it again. So I'm just gonna go here, following mode, active track. And you better <clears throat> like give it a nice subject that it can actually recognize. Put it to five meters altitude and a few meters away. Let's say I just want to bring it a little bit more close. Battery is 25 person only. I draw a square around and say go. And now it's going to follow me. As you can see, I move, it tracks me, and it keeps on following me. Now, because I moved it up, it lost me, but it got me again here. I say go. And I'm walking around, I mean walking backward. 24% battery left. It's actually following me very, very well by tracking me in, uh, in the app that is image tracking. It's still tracking me, still tracking me. I'm still in the track. I'm gonna run backward and it starts to follow me. This is absolutely good.
right, people, I gotta call it a day. I am hungry, I'm tired, I have been riding around to find places to fly these two absolutely fantastic drones. I mean, since morning, I have been flying both of these and testing. I've been pushing limits in the city areas where I normally do not get lucky with such kind of aerial filming quadcopters to go farther, farther than 500 meters, but I have done some good distances on both of these. I honestly want to say I am impressed, really Hubson, I am impressed with the performance, not only just, not just the flight performance, but also the aerial filming footage, features that are simply working, the control range that they are offering me within the city where I normally don't get that lucky with the control range, and not to mention the image and video quality from these cameras of Xeno 2 Plus and Xeno Pro Plus. Once again, thank you very much, Hubson. You have really done your homework very well. Your tech has really improved and have come a long way. I'm really happy with these two quadcopters. And again, I'm not done with these yet. Expect a whole lot of more videos about Xeno 2 Plus and Xeno Pro Plus, including the test of all the features and obviously pushing the limits and see how far I can go. For that, I will obviously ride outside the city and see how far I can go on both of these. They claim eight plus kilometer, we'll find out very soon. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like it, give it a big like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell icon, more coolest aerial films and obviously I will ride around and bring you to more areas and do aerial filming in those areas using Hubson Xeno 2 Plus and Xeno Pro Plus. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.